today's video. Today's video is going to be a DIY and a quick fixer upper kind of a video. Today we're still in quarantine. We are on our 44th day, the day that I'm recording, 44th day of quarantine or self quarantine in our house. And this project that I wanted to do right now, I already had it for a long time, but now that I have time to do this, sort of, I'm going to share it with you. And it is with Ritz. Ritz Dye More Synthetic Royal Purple um, because we're going to fix this. It's also, you can do it in white colors, anything you can really dye, anything, any fabric. But this is the story of these Carter pants. Luna, they are Luna's. I think she wore it twice, maybe. And uh, these, if you don't know, are very expensive. And especially for children, it's more expensive. These are size 40. And I don't know what happened one day. Uh, she wore it and I put it in the basket. Something must have been wet there that we have mold on our pants. And since they're white, well not white, they're pink. Um, you can like, it's like more obvious in camera. I don't know why, but in here it's not that dark. But look at this, all this became moldy i don't know the other word would have been it it got brown and really black spots um kind of on the crotch area only and then on the other side it kind of it's just a little bit on the butt area right here and other than that it's pretty much a nice a speckle here and there the top part i only have like this little spot right here uh but they're very new if it doesn't fit on on layla on luna anymore it would fit on layla later and you can see that uh from the shoulders it got rusted because of these things and i don't know i thought these would be a good um a good quality uh pants because they are expensive my husband also has an overall and other pants and they're good i don't know what happened to this one even the buttons are hard and this is what we're dealing with and um to cover this black area or this spot i decided to dye it purple because it's the darkest color that you can go besides black um and i got this one i believe i bought this one at walmart a long time ago um um, but I haven't, um, I haven't used it. Right here it says synthetic royal purple. This works on polyester, nylon, and acrylic. I don't know why I would interrupt it. So the only thing really that you need, according to the directions of the bottle, is just warm water and this. I have seen another YouTube videos where they also add salt, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, and, um the water and this so the more you keep it in the water the darker the product will look so let's give it a try you and i together Rit. because right now it's hot and it's coming out super super hot so you need to win the fabric the garment whatever that you're going to or pre-wet the item that you're going to have and right here I already did that because I'm doing it from the faucet I want to make sure all the areas are wet and since it's a small little pants that I'm using that's why I'm using a big pot that I have here and I don't know if you're can you see the steamy out of it well it soup can obviously spoil your water put it on a table enough water for the garment to move freely so I'm going to almost fill it up and then we're going to use the rest of it 
first of all, I'm gonna put a little bit of soap, and I have my dish soap, and I'm gonna put it there, right there. I'm going to keep filling it up so it kind of gets mixed. And we're going to put one cup of salt. The instructions not on the bottle, but on videos on YouTube that they did. It said to do uh, salt for 100% cotton. And this one is 100% cotton. And you probably hear Layla and Luna right there. So that's how much I'm going to be putting. And I'm going to shake well the bottle and going to put it all in there and first of all I'm going to put on my plastic gloves because we don't want our hands to be stained with anything no, I, see my and I also have this stick instead of using a spoon you can use a spoon as well I got this stick from outside and I'm going to shake well <gasps> I'm going to put it all in there. Oh my goodness. All of our, all of our thing went in there. Oh my God. So I'm going to mix it well. And then, oh my God, hopefully that doesn't. Oh, that was a bad idea. Going to put our garment in there. Let me clean up and then I'll be back. You can use your hands now and kind of make sure Look at how pretty it looks. I used the whole entire bottle, so um, it would have a very purple um, color. I'm gonna try and move it around so all the parts of the pants, the overall skin color, and it doesn't give me like a tie-dye effect, because I don't want a tie-dye effect. I want it to change colors completely. So I'm gonna move it around gonna take it out. I would recommend for you to do it in a way um, wider space and more open and not have little critters around but you know what it's quarantine and they're right here and I made a mess. I thought I hadn't shaken. I already had opened it. My god. So you want to use your stick. The longer that it stays in the water and the hotter the water is the better effect that you would get. As far as I knew and I saw on all the video tutorials and the directions so we're gonna leave it there for a little bit and then we'll be back I left the garment and moved it once in a while but it stayed on the water but about 30 minutes maybe 40 uh, by moving it a little bit and I think it's time to rinse it now so the thing that we have to do now is take it out of the water of the dye here and then rinse it with cold water and once you have run it enough to the water the cold water I did it here in my sink and I also washed it already with soap um, make sure that when you do this the water it's not you can see it's a little bit purple still so you want to make sure that when you squeeze your garment, your clothes, nothing, no color of whatever color you were using comes out. I still okay, see it now. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a squeeze and see if we get any lavender. Now, there we go. See? Now it's completely, well, sort of. <laughs> But for the most part, it is completely clear. Let's see. Now we can put it to dry, hang it dry, or you can toss it in the washing machine. But I can tell you already wash it by hand, and you can toss it in the dryer. This one's look on the light. Look at this. You can see the purple right there now. Very, very dark. The threads stay kind of like whitish pinkish but other than that it looks pretty good so let's put it in the dryer and that's how it looks look this is a sand donut